morning, fans, privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday after a couple days in Paris, uh, one of our favorite cities in the world. Um, it's a fun city to play in. It's not a great city to work in, um, but very, very fun to play in Paris. I did do a little bit of work, as in saw some people. Um, I had some meetings, but uh, more play than work beautiful, beautiful place, uh, even in the pouring rain, uh, even in its, f with all of its filth and garbage, and you know, you go to Paris, and after living in Switzerland for 20 years, the first thing that you think is like, holy shit, it's filthy here, um, I don't know, maybe it's filthy in a good way, who knows, um, Let's look and see what's going on here. Uh, first and foremost, let's go to oil. Obviously, OPEC. Um, going Shawshank on the west here uh, with the with a one million barrel per day cut. It was good for about a nine percent move, nose to toes. We've given it back two bucks now. Um, let's see where let's see where things fall. This is bad for the global economy. This is bad for risk. Um, I'm not even sure this is going to create tons of inflation. Um, because this is going to create a move faster towards recession. So, we'll see. We'll see. So, we're, um, we're a little bit cautious here. We don't have any... I don't have any real, um, no horse in this oil race. Uh, we did sell some equities at the open. Uh, that's not, that wasn't as bearish as we thought. I mean, this last three days, end of the quarter, looked like window dressing to us, looked like total horse shit to us. So, um, we're going to be short equities this week, going into the Easter break. See how that goes. Uh, and what else? We like Swiss yen lower, mainly just because of all of the Swiss news that we saw over the weekend. The special prosecutor going to stick his nose into the Credit Suisse UBS merger. And then the other headline is that we knew was coming. 30% uh, of the UBS staff is going to get fired. That's 11000 let's call it $200,000 a year Swiss salaries that are going to be chopped. Um that's meaningful to this country. So it's not great news from Switzerland. And then we have Swiss CPI today, uh, which is not going to factor in any kind of oil price. So uh, month on month, they're expecting 0 0.4 down from 0 0.7. If this thing comes in low or it keeps moving in that direction, this could also be negative for the Swiss franc. So how do you play that? Uh, we're playing it Swiss yen. Uh, we did seem like a gift. The opening up at 145.50 area. Now we're down at 29. We've actually seen 90, so we've actually traded this a couple of times already today. 65 the high, 90 the low. Um, you could probably, you could probably momentum trade this down through 144.90. Uh, if you don't want to have a position going into CPI, in case you think it might come in hot, this thing is really stretched from the lows anyway, right? So a week ago Friday, we traded at 140.20. Now we're at 145.30. This is, that's a big move for Swiss Yen. Um, and then we had this turn bar on Friday. So we like this thing lower. Let's see what happens. Dollar Yen is being stubborn. Are we going to close this gap today at some point? I think we are. Um, this is just a function of people in the market who think crude is going to force rates higher. You can see rates are pretty much unmoved. I mean, what did the uh, the 10 years got three basis points uh, from the close? Um, let's see, we closed. It's called 47. I guess it's five basis points, but... This is still um, firmly 
in the dovish camp here. We're at 352. Are we going to take a voyage back down to 330? Uh, we think we are. Who likes this? Dollar Cad likes this. It is a real fucking pain in the ass, this uh, 136.50 level. Feels like we should have harvested something there, but for whatever reason, uh, that was trickier than we thought. I mean, this one bar in particular, wow, you know, 30 given, 138.05 paid, and then straight down. You can see that's just like a, it's just like a fuck job for any momentum trader. Um, but dollar cad likes this. Who else is gonna like this? Euro Norway likes this. Less less so. Big turn bar on Friday anyway. Before this news, you wonder if wonder if people out in uh, Norway knew this was coming. Um, you know, you probably sell this eleven thirty two, eleven thirty four, um, and eventually, if oil does continue to cruise higher up through the eighties, uh, this is gonna this pair is going to head back down through 11. Um, so keep an eye on that. Uh, what else is going on? Euro uh, red opening. We've got some PMIs out today. you got to keep your eye out. Manufacturing from France and Germany, Italy and Spain. Um, and then the, the aggregate manufacturing, 10 a.m. Swiss time. We also have U.S. Um, manufacturing PMI today, which which will be watched. These numbers, unlike services, uh, are expected to be weaker. Um, so who who takes the brunt of that? I don't know. Is it Euro dollar or is it Euro yen? Look at the Euro yen chart. Big turn day on Friday as well after again. This is the Deutsche Bank CDS low, 139. We did a quick 668 points. Um, we've already made a new low today. Uh, Euro yen could be a cleaner horse than uh, Euro dollar if this stuff comes in weak. Gold doing nothing back in the middle of this. Um, let's call this the 119 2000 range. Can this go back down to? Um, 1905 yes yes it can so we need some either bad news or rates to come crashing down for gold to take its next leg up um, we're trying to we're going to try and time that uh, as best we can what else out there dollars are uh, we literally had a 17 69 77 bid on Friday, um, did not get filled. This shit's this shit can go a lot higher. Um, whatever, I don't want to get into it. It's just annoying. Um, you know, we always like shorting South African rand, um, even though we love the country and the land itself and the people who are fucking amazing just run not run very well that country uh, and until they get better leadership we're always looking for places where we can um, shorts are uh, what else is out there so nothing to do here at uh, 1790 you missed it uh, we missed it just fucking annoying life life of a foreign exchange trader there I guess and what do you expect, right? You're in Paris. Um, <laughs> let's just say we weren't paying as close attention as we probably should have um, while we were in Paris. So anyway, Swiss yen's our horse. Um, we got Swiss CPI at, at, uh, in one hour and 15 minutes. Let's see how that goes. Uh, we also like equities lower. We think this news flow combined with the stretchiness of last week uh, makes for a good short. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.